Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from Polk County Girl. Uh, you're gonna see I'm gonna look real. I'm gonna look the same in a bunch of videos because I'm batch filming today. And this first video is going to be about a traveler's notebook that I bought. Um, I recently posted. Well, I posted back in October about field note size that I bought off my friend Canyon to try out. Field note size didn't work for me. It was too small. Um, I have a whole uh, blog post about that that, I, that went up this past week. And in discussing the Traveler's Notebook thing with Canyon, she said, you know, maybe you need to try a bigger size. Well, the size is of stuff I uh, normally use is my mini collects. My notes are on the other side, so which takes eight and a half by five and a half paper and my portable size Malibu and she suggested that I get a narrow size or standard size traveler's notebook so and of course she's big chic sparrow fan um so she's like you need you need to go get a sparrow and Jennifer's notebooks are beautiful. I'm, I have nothing bad to say about Jennifer's notebooks. I just wasn't ready to spend that kind of money on something that I didn't know that would work for me. So I looked around and I found on Amazon, and for those of you that know that I do Bing points, I like buying stuff off Amazon because Bing points equals Amazon gift cards equals Corey doesn't actually have to spend real money. <laughs> and I found this. It is a, um, wow, my lighting is like real crap. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the embossing. I hope the embossing is coming through, but it's really textured and it's very nice. This is a narrow standard size traveler's notebook from, what does the bag say? ZLYC -Y Creative. That's, this is the bag it came in. And um, it does smell good. It is real cow. Um, and so I got this probably a couple weeks ago, and I've been playing around with it. Canyon's been after me to do a video on it. I'm, just, I'm trying to get the light to catch the uh, um, texture. There we go. Um, and I told her I wanted to play around with it first before I did a video. And so far, I'm really, really liking this. It's it's small enough that it, it's compact enough. It feels good in my hand, and but it's still big enough that I can write in it. And I I've put on some of the travelers' notebook forums, you know, what's it like to write in it? You know, not on a writing surface. Like if I was just to hold it in my hand, what would that be like? And I got mixed messages from people. Some people told me, oh, I don't write in my traveler's notebook if it's not on a table or I don't have a problem with it so um, this one I only have a for me writing in it when it's not on a table it's a little awkward sometimes but I, I can handle it so what do I have in here or let me tell you what it came with first before I uh, show you how I changed it up it came with three inserts Three standard Midori inserts. One was the blank one, which I do have in here. Then the other one was a ruled one. The standard, is that coming through? I hope so. And then the calendar one, which I had never seen this one before, and I thought it was really interesting. If you if you've never seen this uh, insert before, um, I found that you can buy this off Amazon. And I'll put the link in the accompanying blog post um, so you can get a better look at it. But all it is is it's just squares and it starts 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 31. But it doesn't have any days of the week or anything. So, And it does have an, a little column on this side that's just blank, I guess, so you can put notes in. Like for me, that's where I mark, oh, I need to pay this bill this month. Oh, and it also came with some additional orange elastic. This is shorter than the original amount because I did cut some off to create a second elastic in here. Um, it came, 
It originally just had two elastics in it. Ignore the uh, orange one. Um, but the second, this is the second black one. I don't want to take everything out. Well, I'll try to take everything out. Um, I'm still trying to get the hang of taking stuff, taking stuff in and out without um, destroying things. Um, the, so I had the two elastics. One was shorter than the other, than the first, than the other one. And I was told that you don't use the shorter one. So, um, the way this thing came laid out is it had two inserts, rubber, uh, two inserts banded together. And then the third one looped through. Um, yeah, it had two the two inserts hooked together like this, and then the other one. Those of you that know Traveler's Notebooks understand what I'm trying to say. So this is what the inside looks like. It has no pockets. It's very plain, but it is nice and soft. Um, that's the shorter elastic. This is the longer elastic. And this is the orange one that I added because I thought and I didn't add it very well. You can see it along the back edge, but... Oh well, um, because I thought I wanted as many, I want to see how many inserts I could stuff in here, and I can tell you this, I can get five in here, but it's awkward. So what I did was I took out two of them, I don't even remember what the ones I had in there were, I had the blank, monthly, daily, a uh, random notebook paper thing I had in there, and then what was the I may have had the ruled one in there at one point, but I don't. Again, I don't. That was like the first week. I'm at the end of week three now, and um, I think I got this figured out. I say that, and we all know what happens. Famous last word, right? So the inserts that I have in here now that I am actually using are I bought the 2016 monthly calendar from Yellow Paper House. I knew I wanted that. I have to have a monthly that is pre-done. I didn't know that I was going to get this monthly insert. Well, that's not even showing up. This monthly insert with this. It's... Um, the, sell, the Amazon seller said that I would get three inserts, but it could be some combination of wine, blank, grid, and the calendar. And I would get three of the four, and they're chosen at random. So I didn't know what I was getting, but I knew I wanted the monthly calendar. So I went ahead and bought the monthly calendar from Yellow Paper House. And, and this is the Aqua. It's very pretty. I like it. I like the blue. And then I took, oh, it, it also came with this elast, the Traveler's Notebook did come with this elastic to attach, um, the notebooks together. And I also bought some Midori bands, and, but I'll talk about those in another video. Um, so I banded together the monthly and the blank, because that's the one I started using first. I'm just going to put this thing back together while I talk to you. And then, I'm not using the orange elastic at all anymore. It just it gets in the way. And then I mentioned I have a daily. I didn't buy this daily. I made it. Because um, I figured out a while ago that I needed to be able to see my day in half hour increments starting from like 7 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. That's that's just what works for me. And doing that, it helps me in multiple ways. Mainly for me to remind myself I'm not Superwoman. I can't do everything in a day like I think I can. So I wish... Here, let me show you... This is what it looks like blank. This is tomorrow's. I haven't filled anything out on it yet because Sunday I try to just keep for relaxing. But um, just to show you how crazy some things get. Um, yeah, nobody in here would uh, 
nobody on YouTube would probably understand my shorthand for this. And I do still color code, you know, blue is for work, orange is now for like exercise, and green is for house stuff, red is for appointments, and those are the main colors I use. And doing that, it does help. I am um, right in, um, you know, during my work hours, I write my work to do list in blue so I can keep track of stuff. And then there are days like today where I go a little crazy and decide to schedule everything. Like what YouTube videos I want to take today. Um, we were going to go to our exercise class today, but we also have a funeral to go to. So, um, I don't blow dry my hair. So going and working out and then showering and then getting ready for this funeral. One, there wasn't enough time. And so I know I'm not going to get all this stuff done today. I'm just nuts and decided to, I'm just going to fill up my day. And it just slips in between the monthly and the blank. That's not how it slips in, Corey. Get and um, this, this one is undated. I did um, make a dated one as well for March. And... Um, it just fits in just like that. And I do like that it sits flat. I, I'm really liking the fact that I can just lay this down. And yeah, I do put my pen on it for a little weight, but uh, so the pages don't flop around. But I like that it sits open. So um, Canyon was right. I was just using the wrong size. Anyways, that is that. Oh, I mentioned the little notebook paper thing. Um... When Canyon was trying to convince me to buy a Sparrow, I, and we were discussing sizes, I went ahead and took some notebook paper and some blank paper and decided to make some fake um, traveler's notebook inserts in the personal or in the narrow size to see if I liked it. Well, this was the, um, this was the plain one. And, if you want to pause and read my nonsense, go for it. And then I did this little one, trying to figure out what kind of daily insert that I want to just create my own every day that I want to, uh, I'm going to do a whole separate video on my day to daily insert. I'm not going to have time to do it in this video, but, um, essentially you guys know I don't like to waste things, so I'm just trying to use up the paper and... And that's all it is. It's just folded notebook paper that I did staple. And right now, it just, where's the middle? Where's the middle? I just slip, I have it slipped into the middle of the blank notebook. And cause my blank notebooks become kind of like my brain dump and random notes notebook. Um, and when this is, when the notebook paper's done, I'll just take it out and I'll go to using the uh, blank one. So it works. Um, it does not have a pen loop. I wish it did, but I got around that by, um, I don't, I don't put my elastic level. I actually, I actually angle it so I can just hook my pen. And now it's not going to do it. It's going to make a liar out of me. So I just hook, So I just hook my pen like that, and I do still carry it around in its bag, mainly because I've noticed that the dye is kind of rubs off on the paper, and the inside of my purse is light, so I don't want it to rub. And also because I carry a bunch of different color sharpies around with me, so it's e so easy to just throw it all in the bag and. I know I've got the stuff, and if I'm going to be using my traveler's notebook, there's strong possibility I'm going to need all these pens. So, so far, three weeks in, the narrow is working. I'm enjoying it, and um, that doesn't mean I have stopped using my rose gold Malibu completely. Um, I'll do a different video to show you how I'm using that, but um. That's this video. My next one is going to be a quick one on that dated insert I made for, to show everybody. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.